multiple things every day, but it's going good. How does your shoulder feel? Shoulder feels good. You know, it's it's like it's real tight in my brace, which is good. Um, I haven't gotten back to where I was yet, so I'm not 100% yet. But uh, I think during the summer and everything else that we're doing, I'll be I'll be back to 100%. What are you at right now? Uh, I'd say strength-wise, I'd say about 80-85% with my strength. But I mean, it's fully healed, so I'm basically doing everything in spring. Yeah, full full range of motion and everything like that. It's just I haven't gotten my initial like back to where I was, you know. So, is there an adjustment to your you have to make once you have an injury like that? I don't think so. I mean, if I were to change the way I played, I wouldn't be the same person. And um, you know, I came here to play football, and I'm even though I've had a couple setbacks, I mean, I'm still pushing through and giving all I got. So. And then Austin also had a shoulder injury. Yeah, I mean, his was a little different. He had uh, he had his scoped his first time, which I did too. And then uh, I redid mine. I got a totally different procedure done. And uh, so, I mean, it takes longer, but it's supposed to keep it more in contact. So, when did you hurt it? I heard it the uh, the first. I heard it against BYU, and then uh, it came out. It tore all of it. And then I just put a brace on it, took a pill at halftime, and then went back in. And then the next day it was pretty sore, but uh, I didn't get surgery till after season. It was it. When did you realize this is a relatively serious injury? Oh, when it came out. When it came out, I was like, "There's something wrong with my arm." Back out there. Yeah. So I mean, it, it wasn't like it hurt, but like the day after was the day it really hurt. It was all swollen with blood and everything. When did you realize you're gonna miss the season? Oh, that, the second turn. The second turn. Oh, uh, I realized it when I got into the training room and Dr. Radigan's moving around and it came out just moving it around. So I was just gonna play with it. You know, I talked to Coach Kelly right after practice. He goes, "You're gonna be fine." And then when it slipped out on me like that. What was that in practice was? That was uh, the day we came back from uh, Shiloh. Camp Shiloh. That quickly. Huh? Yeah, it was this. It, we had a two days as a second practice. So. And what's it that told you? You're done. I mean, I kind of got the idea or the the concept that I, I can't play with this. So. No matter how much, how I'll tight my braces, no matter what I do. How frustrating was that to sit and spend a whole season from start to finish? It was rough, you know, because I I just came off a, a surgery. Didn't play in the, at all in the spring, couldn't compete. So I'm just trying to learn everything, and then I get out there, I do good for the first week, and then that happens. So, I mean, it sucks just watching. Um, I mean, watching everything happen. We had a, a okay season last year. Uh, we could have done a lot better, but you know, it it, it really just does suck just watching. In a way, we always <coughs> hear from guys who are on the sideline in whatever sport that they're able to see it from a different perspective, yeah. um, learn from a different viewpoint. Right. Did that happen? Did you pick up on parts of the game you wouldn't have otherwise? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you're basically just watching everybody play instead of like what you were, what you would be playing. So just safety. So I got the chance to watch the linebackers, the defensive line, to offense all the time. So I mean, I think that's a, that's a, that's a that's fairly true.